we're going to learn how to make biscuits because it's great to serve honey on a biscuit. There is nothing better. It's a very easy recipe. The first thing you do is put all of your dry ingredients in the food processor and pulse it three times. One, two, three. Next, we take four ounces of butter, one stick of cold, unsalted butter, and put it into your food processor and pulse 12 times. Use whole milk, buttermilk, three quarters of a cup. Pour it in through the tube in the food processor and pulse until it comes together. You can hear a difference when it comes together. There we go, it's come together. You don't want to do it any longer than that because working, overworking the dough ruins your biscuits. On a lightly floured counter, press your dough out to about one half inch thick. So get ready a silicone pan lined or parchment lined pan for your biscuit. You'll need a cutter. I'm using a slightly smaller cutter this time because I want to share these and then cut your biscuit out. It should look like that. Just a little round biscuit and put it on your cookie sheet. Now you can take the scraps that are left and reassemble them as a whole, but you just, again, want to be very careful not to overwork your dough. So I'm just barely going to pat it together and pat it back out. These won't be as pretty a biscuits, these last ones, because I don't want to overwork the dough. And so there'll be some splits in the dough, but it'll be okay. So, and then these go in the oven for 12 minutes at 425. Um, and I always butter the biscuits um, when they come out of the oven hot because it makes um, the butter melt and people like them when they have melted butter in them, but you can either butter them now or put them on the table and let people butter them themselves just not so hot that the butter will melt. Now's the moment when I get to taste the biscuit and we'll see what it tastes like. These are beautiful biscuits like this. You want them to look like that on the outside and on the top because that is the way a biscuit deserves to be eaten. Mmm. The honey soaks right into the warm biscuit. It is absolutely delicious. The honey is really good, but the reason it tastes so good on this biscuit is because the biscuit is really good also. So I encourage you to learn to make biscuits if you're a beekeeper. It's a great way to share your product with other people.